there's positive impulsive actions that are a byproduct of previous calculations, right? Uh, of, of habitual responses. Habits to me is everything. Uh, especially when it comes to getting tired. People think habits is only, hey, you have healthy eating habits because you've chosen this so many times. Hey, you work hard because you've chosen this so many times. That's not the habits I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is the strongest muscle in your body is your, your, your mindset, right? And when I choose to do less when I'm tired, I'm disciplining those habits. Now, when I'm tired next week, I already have a built-in conditioned habit of, I don't want to say the word quitting, but doing less, not giving more. So Kyle Snyder actually kind of taught me this at Ohio State. He was, uh, you know, for everybody, he obviously, he was an Olympic champ, three-time NCAA champ at the Ohio State. And he had a mantra that he would say every time he got tired, he would say, protect nothing right? Protect nothing. He was exhausted at practice. He would say in his head, protect nothing. He could attribute that to a million different, you know, a million different ways. Don't protect your record. Don't protect your gas tank. Don't protect uh, your reputation, whatever it might be. He would just say, protect nothing. And then after he would say that to himself in his head, he would choose to attack right away afterwards, no matter what he would choose to shoot or to hand fight or to step forward or whatever it is. So he would do that over and over and over again. All of a sudden, he's in a match. He's exhausted. The voice is starting to talk, that little bitch-ass voice, right? And they're like, hey, you don't want to be here anymore. This fucking sucks. This is fucking tiring. Why don't you take, you know, step off the gas a little bit? It's okay to coast. He says to himself, protect nothing. He doesn't want to give more, but what's he know how to do only? Give more because he's built that habit. I took that, right? I took that and I brought it to base jumping. You know, you're on top of a fucking building. You don't want to jump off. Nobody wants to fucking jump off a building, right? I'm on top of a building. So what I did was I stood on a curb. I held a fake little, uh, it's called a pilot shoot. It's what you throw out uh, with your parachute. And I would say three, two, one, see it. Step off the curb, throw my pilot shoot. Get back on the curb. Do it again. So get back on the curb. Do it again. Three, two, one, see it. Three, two, one, see it. Three, two, one, see it. All of a sudden, I'm on top of a building. I'm on top of a cliff. I'm on top of, of an antenna, wherever I am jumping. And I say, three, two, one, see it. My body doesn't want to go forward. I'm sorry. My mind doesn't want to go forward. My mind doesn't want to jump. This is fucking stupid, right? My body only knows how to do one thing after I hear those words habitually, right? I jump. And it's a very liberating experience. And, and the same thing happens when you're, when you're wrestling, you know, the same thing happens when Kyle says protect nothing. So, so I started, you know, when I, I, I actually just, uh, just stopped coaching at Harvard last week it was my last week, but oh, no, with my Harvard guys, yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. But, uh, with my Harvard guys, I, um, I would talk about that a lot, you know, Hey, listen, have a mantra, have something that you can condition in your head. You know, you don't want to have these external things that you're relying on every single time to motivate you. Hey, I got to catch up to him in the sprint because this guy's ahead of me. What if that guy fucking disappeared? Are you going to still like not sprint hard? Right. Is that the only reason you're sprinting hard? That can't be your why. It can't be. Right. Are you only training hard because your dad walked in? Right. Unfortunately, parents pass away. What if your dad wasn't here? Are you going to still train hard? Right. So your external motivators can be very uh, you, you could you could rely on them once in a while, but it can't be your fucking purpose. You have to have internal motivation. You know what I mean? So so that's very important to me. And and and, uh, and it bleeds into like how you wrestle. It's a part of your identity. You know, it bleeds into every single thing you do in life. As you can see, I, I try to take everything I learned in wrestling and and really, you know, attack a lot of things with it.